Hello everyone and welcome to Top of Mind. I'm Mary Masalio and in today's episode, I want to share with you the results of our recent CEO survey and specifically the three things that jumped out at us that really matter to CEOs with regard to AI. The first thing is that CEOs are really intimate with this technology. And to understand what I mean by that, think of the other technologies that have made the news or been important for business, maybe quantum computing or the metaverse or back when ERP was a big deal or cloud computing. CEOs understood those technologies, but they understood them intellectually. CEOs have a personal understanding of generative AI. When we asked how many of them use generative AI in their jobs, roughly 40% said they've used ChatGPT in the last six months to do their job. So their understanding of these technologies is much more personal, much deeper, much more intimate. The last time we saw anything like this was in 2012 with the introduction of the iPad. It's the only other time we've seen CEOs adopt within six months of the introduction uh, that iPad. A large percentage of CEOs had one within six months of adoption. And this is like that. CEOs have an intimate relationship with generative AI. They have a personal understanding of it that goes beyond the intellectual. The second thing that we discovered in the survey is that CEOs are much more comfortable seeing the value of generative AI in terms of productivity improvements than in terms of customer value proposition. So they can immediately see the benefits in terms of efficiency and work getting done by their employees and the internal ways they can increase productivity using generative AI. They struggle a bit with understanding how generative AI might transform their customer value proposition. And this matters because if you think about the job of the chief executive officer, their primary responsibility is always growth. And having a technology that's really promising, but mostly internally focused on efficiency and productivity, means that the relationship with growth is kind of indirect. And again, if you compare this to the digital decade, it was the reverse. In the digital decade, the early applications of digital technologies were external for the most part. You know, a banking institution creating a banking mobile app and finding ways to connect with customers through digital means that were new and transformed the value proposition. Right now, I would characterize CEOs' understanding of the customer value proposition and how generative AI is going to transform it as still early, maybe even fuzzy as of yet. Gartner thinks this is going to change. We think that generative AI absolutely is going to affect the value proposition of many customers in many industries, but for now, CEO understanding is fuzzy and they're focused on productivity. And the third thing I wanted to share is that it's very clear from the survey that from the CEO's point of view, the value and the power of AI justifies the risks. About 85% of CEOs responded that the power of AI justifies the risks, and about 70% responded that yes, vendors are hyping the technologies a lot, but that the hype is justified. So CEOs are largely bullish about this technology and they're pretty comfortable with the risks. They're not scared. If you think about the role of the chief executive officer, that's not that surprising because inherent in the role is comfort with risk-taking. They're making really big investments, acquisitions, they're divesting parts of their enterprise, they're making big capital investments, they're taking out big bank loans. So being comfortable with risk is part and parcel of the job, and that absolutely extends to generative AI. There's a lot more survey detail where this came from. If you want to geek out on the CEO survey results and you're a client, you can click on the link below for a lot more information and analysis. For now, if I just had to summarize where CEOs are at with regard to AI, I would say this. They have very high belief but at least for now, pretty low specificity. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. See you next time.